Hi guys, this is GCM Edit. Um, I'm just going to go through my game with um, Emi Kapovi. There was so much going on, I was broadcasting the game between Derby and Udem, so by the time I got around to my game, the baby came back, so many things going on. So I'm going to do a quick run through and then also see where some of the places where I've made some mistakes, okay? So quickly, so I started, I am black in this game here. So play d4, and f6, okay. This is a game. I, I was going to play, see where this, at one point I thought maybe I should play maybe d5 and play that kind of slav setup, but I thought I'd go for this. But oh, I said, okay, might as well go for the Benoni. I draw you say I can see. I could have played something like the Benko because I I do play the Benko but anyway. Let's see what happens. Fun takes, fun takes. Fun. Mm, normally that she that's wrong move. That should have been like the bishop a six. Okay. Definitely. Should have, bishop should have gone to e two, but look at it. Yeah, so take. Queen takes, uh, so queen takes, maybe five fucking king, uh, queen and bishop. At one point I thought we'd be queen move back and I push, push it, but I didn't want him pushing f4, then I have to move. I'd rather take that sweet, nice bishop, so took knight takes bishop. Okay, now it could be queen there. Uh, if he brought his bishop, I think if he brought his bishop there, what I would have done. Is a bit four. I would have played queen c7, then bishop f6. Kind of thing. Okay, bishop f6. Definitely, I was gonna play that. So at this point here, yeah, I expected him. See, a5 is what I expected him to stop me from playing b5, but he played. I was thinking, what's he doing with that rook there? I, I don't know why he moved that rook. Again. So push the queen first, and then rook. Mm -hmm. I had to push b5. Definitely. What's he doing? So I thought, okay, let's get rid of the queens. Nah, it's a bit, yeah, he played e5 just like the move step, but I didn't want to take, I was thinking, but I took then he had a pass, but I thought, you know, I'm, not, I'm, I'm just going to bring him. And he put the rook in the wrong place, so then I, I was thinking of pawn takes e5, then push uh, e5. Then oh, I thought he would take with rook then knight and um, yep, knight d3. He has to move back to d e2 to protect that pawn. And then pawn push. Yeah, take pawn. And from here I think it was yeah, I just had to kick that, make sure not just kicking the knight, but also giving away from my knight. Wait, wait, wait. Why did I take knight to that pawn? I think I wanted, in, in a way, I wanted to kind of start moving those pawns, so to get him there, because if he had let me, if he if he goes away and allows me to push that pawn to c2, that's it, I'm done, so he had to block that. I played a move now that, to be honest, I don't know why I played this move, because what I should have done, I should have, let me protect the pawn, I just played some something crazy and i'm thinking what, what what is this move that i played it takes root takes pawn i then go for knight takes that threatening root takes pawn then he plays his weird move so i then play this he goes for a check i move up i had to make sure that i didn't even i didn't want to move to a7 because eventually we move move our knights away my f7 will be on attack so he played up there and that's where he made a mistake okay, yeah i take pawn Oh, I'm on the tech now. Uh, I knew I was going to take one pawn, so I went there. Just moved there. And definitely, you can't, you can't push him G4. The exchange, and this is where. And it's just a matter of maneuver. Uh, yeah, he was using up his time. You know, just knew he going to Just make some moves. I wanted to, oh, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to do that kind of. Okay, I need to cut off his 
So we can do. I was just cooking. I don't know why he did that. And that's it. Okay, so that was the first game I played. That was one on to me. Let's go to the next game. So I can get the next game up. So, so I have to go back to this and let's go on back to the second game. So this is the second game we played now. Okay, here I was white play d4. Okay. Uh, London system. So many people play the London system. Sometimes sometimes um they leave um leave um bishop f4 and just play another move if he takes back. There's this system that Dabby plays, but I I just wanted to just get on with it. Green you know. take. Okay, at least by taking that bishop on G um, G3, I was happy about that because now that's the out there for my king. Now we need to start contesting Faison. And I was looking, I was eyeing that weak pawn here. This weak pawn on C5. So here, yep, exchange. Okay, so here now I was hitting. Um, I was looking at queen coming down here, check, but you know, he didn't have anything to follow. I was like, this and that was really good here, and I like this bishop here. So, and if he plays f5, uh, even though see the message says play there, but I think that's a bit weakening because then I can take bishop takes bishop. If he takes with it, I do go check first and knight check. You'll have to come all the way down here, so you probably get perpetual check then anyway. So, um. Let's see what did he play here? He went back. That was, I think that was a mistake. That was a big mistake. That was, that was a big mistake. I wanted to here. Yeah, I wanted to extend queens. I was a pawn off, and I thought I probably look at most. I have a draw here. Yeah, because I, you know, I, I was hiding some tactics here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what should I have done there? I was thinking. Do you know I could? I, I was thinking of playing that knight, that queen f4. But I thought if you pushed e5, that would have been nice because I was just taking queen takes f5. That wouldn't have mattered to me at all. I would have just loved that. Okay, let's eventually played that. Then I came. Yeah, I think the reason why I left this, I left this because I thought if he takes it, uh, let's see if I can do. So he takes this. I do this check. He comes in. And uh, but that's not me though. That's the only problem with this. Um, and I see the problem with this also. Hmm, I don't like that because I don't like that. Yes, let's just go back to what the goes. So he didn't take it. He went for. Yeah, okay now. Because I don't think it was the right move then. And that was a blunder too. Um. And I think here it was he needed to keep that knight away and get mate, but he didn't see this at the back and I was mate, so that was my second game. And game three, which I also want to. Decided to play Sicilian. I was gonna play the um, the, uh, the can version, and I just to be honest, my head just went a bit black there. And he, to be honest, I don't know what version he was. This white setup was a bit weird, so and I know it was, gonna, it was planned to bring 
Right, F5. I had to put it to the center because it now would have been tied up. Yeah, okay. Attack the knight first. Play the attack and now here he lost the pawn. Because queen attack, if he moves his he can move his queen, but that gives me initiative. Take take. I wanted to pin my rook, so we'll move this one here. So at least I've got this bish rook defended by bishop and rook, so then we next let's move my knight. Let's see who blinks first. Exchange would have been good. So I play this first, attacking bishop and I know he could have, he was planning knight takes bishop, I take back and take the support. He still has to answer, there's this question he has to answer, this bishop needs to go somewhere. He put it there and then I took, 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 rook on the attack. Here yeah, I thought rook would have been e3, but he played e2, I don't know why he played that. So I didn't say, okay, you know what, I need to protect that, um, kept, reduce the pieces, get that out, push pawn. Yeah. And then take, take. Oh yeah, I moved the queen, king out of the way, so no, no surprises. And then he played something so weird. I don't know why he dropped that piece. And then I think because he was trying to fuck, fuck and my two rooks. But listen, it's not. I've got peace, but I've got, I've got a knight, bishop, and two pawns against those rooks. Those rooks are going to be very useless against those pieces. Now he can't if he tries to take um knight um let's see here. Uh, if you try to play knight uh, oh sorry, that this one back let me just go back to where it was. Okay, let's see here. Okay, here we are. Take two. So I was trying to look at it. if he took a uh, rook takes pawn, knight take back takes rook, he still wins. But I would have done knight, knight, I would have done. Hmm. What would I have done here? Let's see what, what, what I've done. Oh yeah, his knight was on the attack. Yeah, sorry. I knew something was okay. Go after. Let's go push that pawn. I just knew that. Okay, that's it. And again, got one of those moves. And that's it. To be honest, end of the game. King into action. Swing. Going to take care of protect that pawn. And push pawn. Um, would you want? <laughs> I don't say that. I would, I would, what I would have done. Oh my, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, that would have. Yeah. Computer saying that. Um, knight check. Attacking the king. Rook take. King takes. And that's it. But what I do want to do is this loops. Those three pawns on this side here can start maneuvering. And I didn't want to do that. So. Although the knight can rush back, and you know, can rush back. Uh, although the game ended here, but let's say, for example, I went here, he comes here, I take this, king takes, I then go here, and I was just thinking that. It could push one of these pawns. Think. Right, push this one. And, oh no, before he does that, it comes here. Then I will have to go after one, go after this. So here, he went up, so when I play this, he will probably play this here. And now play this, and if he, move, if he moves, he's lost anyway. Because then I'll play whatever it does. I won't even take pawn here. I'll just come here, and that's it. His king has to move somewhere or the other. 
so it's lost. Whatever it does, night check, pawn, queen, and that wins. So that's me winning 3 0. So let's see if I can get the fourth game. I lost this fourth game, so. Uh, game number four, okay. Okay, yeah, I lost this one. Okay, let's see what how's white. Why did I even use this? Okay, played. I decided to play that variation. I'm not used to this variation. I saw David play this one. So I don't know why I played it. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think that's really the reason why I Good queen back, yeah. Aha, this is where so so this is what I'm looking at here now. I couldn't take if I did knight d7 here, he takes with rook, nothing hanging. My queen is hanging here, so I couldn't even do that. So I play this, which means he had no choice. He has to take, he has to take my queen. And then I took back. I just, to be honest, I just forgot about this knight. He was, I was just, I don't know why I did this. Because here too, I could have played pawn takes. If I push, pump push, I could have done pump push against that knight. This where I lost. So let's say, for example, I did this. He does this. I then did this. He does that. Oh no, I have to take that card check. So that would be free. It's still upon the head, so this is lost for me anyway. So this game, I lost this game, so I'm not going to bother about this, this is just where I came free one. So, let me go back to, so again, and then we started the two by one, he won that first one, so let's see, I had a baby in my hand to be honest, so I wasn't really concentrating, I should, this was like a kind of, a, what was I playing? Kind of like um, a pack modern style, you know, variation. Taking. Um, I knew it was coming to that F5, so I pushed the point. Um, So I stop here. I know that I'm not sitting there today. Well, I just messed up here. Everything was wrong. I thought we should. Yeah. I thought if you take. Still, that would be still. I was going to say Bishop takes pawn check. Then knight take the queen takes knight. Boy, okay. I said, just come. why didn't I just go for that draw? I could just come for that draw. Look at that. Sorry about this. So we did the exchange. So okay. Okay, so this is the check where I had the check. All I could have done is my perpetual check. All I needed to do was prepare. Or yeah. 
Dans son ami, il part tout de suite. How did I miss this? Check, check. I left my queen. If not, I somehow could probably have drawn this game. So that's how I lost that game. I left my queen. And then let's see. Game. Okay. So this is the second of the two. I will add two plus one. And this is me in white. When I just went back straight back to my what I know to my London system, which never fails me. Oh, yeah, I could have played. I, I think I could have played. Maybe not. I just missed, uh, I missed this thing. Well, funny enough, how did I, I still got to win this game for some reason. I managed to get. Okay, okay. I'm going to move to current wings. Check. I had a way to. Yeah. Okay, it's a threat here. Okay, well, I took a free rook, and that was the end of that game. So, and then, let me see. Okay, it's the second of the two plus one. Now, that, now that's the third. I uh, yeah, I was already leaving the match, so That was a mistake too. I, felt, I played that after playing that move. I was wondering why did I bloody play that thing? What happened there? I think he just lost some time. Because what was it? I mean, what was that match going to go? Okay, and this is the last of the two plus one. And then another system that I played. Wanted to do the same thing again. Well, I miss. So I miss. I think everything just fell in place for me. I was taking pawns. I had pawns for my, you know, yeah. And my knights were good. Those knights were <laughs> the way they were jumping. In. Took a free piece there, and I think from there. I was lost. Use the number of pieces there because those two knights are really, really, really good outposts. There's nowhere. That rook can even come in. 
I'll just yeah. After that, to be honest, I was winning. I left that night. I didn't. I didn't vote them. I knew I was winning. There's no one playing that game, so. Um, but I could have kept it at that, but I knew it was winning with those points in the centre. So that was the last of. Let's see. So we go into the, funny enough, he won the first uh, 960, this is the first 960, at this time in my mind, I, I just wanted to end the match, to be honest. I, I, I'm the one playing white, so I am going to make sure I use most of my pawns to make sure, oh, see it doesn't penetrate my, oh, my current, for some reason I just misplayed it, I wasn't really concentrating, you know, I mean, I think I gave up, yeah, this was where I, I just misplayed it, I misplayed it, he was lost, he, he had some, he had more, more pawns than I had, I would just think that bishop would meant, I couldn't even move that bishop away from there, so, definitely, that was lost, and then, I think I, I did, I, I got one back. Um, yep, I want to say, because it was like, from there was like a yo yo. So I'm black here, you know? And you have to be very careful of this pawn here. This pawn is always hard. And see the king can attack it. Based on the right thing, play play this pawn to protect that pawn. Always look out for the side pawns. Make sure you know, can attack. See what's. Uh, this 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 spot is very important. So I always make sure I have a pawn there. See, that's my strategy. And but also I have to make sure that my piece. I didn't that rook itself for me wasn't right. It wasn't right as you know. You know sometimes when you're playing you don't because I knew the bishop. See, I knew this bishop was gonna come in. And I, and I had no defense. And I think what I could have done, I could have brought the queen here and pawn. Yes. I know, you know what? See this exchange king. It wasn't forced. But look at his king. His king is right in the center. He hasn't developed. He's like, oh, I just know. I'm not moving back. I'm not giving him time. I need to be under attack. See? I knew I had something. But look at my bishop. This bishop here is horrible. I needed to find a way to get it out. See? Just get it out. When the castle right in the wrong place. Okay. <laughs> that was a blunder. Mm -hmm. I just purposely wanted to get my queen because I knew it was lost. I had three pieces, I mean. Was he going to do a good three pieces? It's lost here. So, there's two more games. So, he won. I think he won the next one. Let's see how we did it because. Oh. I was writing this. Make sure. Please can come in properly. Okay. Okay. Take this bishop. Ooh, I left that. Yeah, that's what it was. I left that queen. I shouldn't have done that. I right hear it together. I already knew I was going to kill some. This was a blunt I should have done one. I just, I don't know my stuff on. Oh, we had two minutes. This was losing from me. Yeah, that was losing. So, uh, and the last but not the least. I think he might have just so I was blocking this one. Here. 
See my two bitches next to it too. This is where the game ended. I don't know where I lost it. What call just came up. So guys, that's it. Two games in a row. Emmy, this is my game with Emmy, the prince. He had made a boast during the week he was going to win. I said to him, "Try for that was before for." But he did well. He played. He he, he played well, but it's not the same. I mean, couple of you that I know, but, you know, in these games, you just have to take your chance. You know, I was I was ready for a full on battle, but that's what I got, and that's that's what I played. Thank you guys for tuning in to this review of that game. Um, and on my YouTube channel, you also be able to see the game between Dabi and Dabi and Udemso. That was a very, very, very good game. That was a very, very good game. Very good game. Okay, guys, and this is ZGM signing out.